Hey, orange one here. So we are outside of that prison. Um, we're going to go for it and see if we can get inside of here. Um, we probably want like our lockpick kit, I think. I think I might. I mean, that or a crowbar. But I think we want the lockpick. If I can find it. Oh, look, there it is. Oh, it's actually busted up. Oh, no. We're going to have to start the episode off with some repair work, I guess. This is actually for the locksmith kit. What would I need to repair that with? Yeah, welder. Okay. Let's get that welder. <laughs> and then we'll go inside. I just think that we're going to want that. You know? Okay. Good. And where is it? Here we go. Okay. Good as new. And we'll just dump that back in here. Actually, let's unload that because we should probably recharge it. Go for that there. And the battery. Cool. All right. Now it's time to actually go inside. Oh, look, it's daytime now. In the time that it took us to do that, like, the sun came out. That's kind of nice. Because, uh... Yeah, we've been... We've been trying to explore in the dark for a while now, so this will be good for us. Uh, we don't need to break in here because we're already in. What's this? Power buyer's guide? That's not the the one that I thought it might be. Should I have the scalpels out? No, let's get the gun out. I don't, I don't know why I have the scalpels out. I think I was doing dissections before we ended the episode. Bunch of dead zombie cops. Right. Okay, I vaguely remember. It's It's been a few days since I last recorded. Like, school years started and I've just been super busy, so I apologize for being kind of clueless about what I was doing. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll get it figured out soon enough. I get my locksmith kit. Ah, these things, these doors. Ignore. Yeah, the our locksmith kit is already kind of busted up. So annoying. Uh, let's have a look. See, there is some wooden doors there. Probably get through that. I just want to make sure I've got my gun out, and let's make sure safe mode is on. What do we have there? Corrosive zombie. I can't shoot them. Oh, but they can shoot me. Oh no, I can't. I totally can shoot them. Cool. Or not? Where did they go? Ah, uh, he's like hiding from me. I really don't care because you uh, you don't actually damage me with your acid attacks anymore. There you go. So it looks like we've just got a bunch of zombies hanging out in here. The seems to this layout seems to be a lot better for breaking out. Um, but I think what I really wanted to do is go underground and see if we could get the top secret. Um, facility thing. Also, maybe I should have the flashlight on for that. Oh, wait, no, I already checked this out. Yeah, there was nothing down here. Right. Okay. I'm piecing it all back together. At least for that entrance. There could be something else still out there, you know? I need to be hopeful. Oh, look, there's like some upstairs. What are those guys? Zombie cops. Okay. Oh, look, and you can see inside through the bars. I can't uh, pass through those, right? Window frame with metal bars. Yeah, okay, I I don't think is an... Oh, jeez. Is an amorphous dude that I can pass through those, though I should be able to. Um, There was a shocker. Skeletal shocker, I believe. Um... Oh, my toolbox is, is not going to work. Let's try the locksmith. Nope. Uh, this thing's worthless. Go ahead and get that crowbar out. <laughs> we might get shocked here. Come on, door. Uh, okay. Get our stamina back. The dudes are... Going crazy, there we go. 
And like I said, there's that shocker dude that made me a little nervous, so I want to be careful there. Yeah, I don't know about with these doors how that's supposed to work. See, there's a boomer there. Not really the one that I was worried about. Maybe I can shoot through the glass. What is this? It's just reinforced glass. Yeah. Oh wait, I I just shot through the glass. I'm very confused. I heard wump. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna do the trick. We have a feeling. Slip through the metal bars. Okay, so I can slip through those metal bars. But wasn't there that shocker that was like around here somewhere? I need to be careful with that. That that guy could just like totally end us. Where are you, shocker friend? Am I crazy? There was a shocker in there, wasn't there? I just am honestly look curious about this location. You know? We'll just see if I can explore it a little bit, honestly. You know? Why not? Uh, yes, actually, get the gun out. Go ahead and wait. It's fine. They can shuffle around all they want. It, is it prison clothes in there? Yeah, dude. Awesome. Whoever redesigned this, like, really, really nice job. I think this is super cool. This is much better than what the prisons used to be like. It just looks like a real location, you know? And here's the library, I assume. Uh, okay. That's some interesting named books. Are those... I don't know, I feel like... They've gone and added a ton of different ones. A uh, dune? Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're grabbing a dune book. Just read a, a chapter. Enjoy a little Dune. Oh, I just skimmed it. I just skimmed the Dune book. Come on, Nosh. You gotta be a man of culture. Get me those uh, Dune fans. Oh, hello. Hi. You wanna punch through that wall for me there? Yeah, come on over. Oh, he's killing the slime. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait. Can you push your way through to me? Or no? I don't know if he will be able to. Let's get my safe mode on. I'm just gonna wait a little bit. See if he punches his way through. No, it doesn't seem like he is. Shame. Okay. Well, I could kill him. You know, honestly. Oh wait, actually, he's gonna come for us. Cool. Come on over. Uh, we're gonna want this, though. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Run away! <gasps> uh, oh, hold on. Uh, yes, please run a little bit further away. And you should be hurt now. Okay, he's pretty much dead. Go semi-auto. Oh, okay. I actually have a good amount of power now. I'm, did I? I feel like... Yeah, now I'm out of ammo until we get, I think, 40, right? And then... There we go. And now we can just wait a little bit. Yeah, I do like that energy weapon. That's pretty pretty critical there. We're taking out those, those skeletal boys. Uh, let's go ahead and get our proper gun out and reload it with an actual mag. Oh, speaking of which, uh, we gotta get more mags stuff. Or reload our, our mags. It's kind of nice when the zombies create an entrance for you, you know? Yeah, go ahead and pull up that. A ton of people that were in here. Okay. Oh, it looks like this is like the little wood shop or whatever. There's a shocker brute. Okay, I want that. I want that corpse. 
we dissect it right here, I think I, I think I'll do that actually. I know we're very hungry, but that's whatever. Fine. Uh, go ahead and wear that. Yeah, sure. I think that we'll be able to dissect this. I don't know. We might not be able to get away with this. Apparently I'm seeing that zombie that they're on the other side of the cell, so I think we're okay. <laughs> we got good good intelligence, pretty good odds with the skills that we've got uh, to get something from here. Please give me something cool. Why is the grabber getting knocked over or something? Anti-glare is like meh. It's kind of useful, but not really. Well, nothing that useful. I had to ch check at least, you know. A bat wing? Oh, I've heard of these guys. <laughs> so they can actually fly some of the zombies now. It's, uh, it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, there's the kitchen, which I think I want to go to because our character is super hungry. So he's gonna get some of that yummy prison food like he's done before. Mmm... What have we got in here? Oh no, never mind. Because we're kind of where we're not going to be able to eat anything. Can I force myself to drink that? Yeah, I don't care. I feel bloated and ill. Okay. Eat indigestible food. Okay, so I can eat undigestible food, it's just gonna make me sad. Okay, well, I'm gonna start eating undigestible food. <laughs> so as long as it's not plant stuff, I can I can have it still. Sounds good. <laughs> oh look at this. Nice. Yum yum yum. I'll just have a little snack. Take that. Sure, why don't we take that as well? You know what's weird is like, how are we opening these cans? Like, I know in Project Zomboid, you you can't just like open cans. <laughs> you need like actual tools for it, which you would think we would need for in this game, right? And there's like tool requirements for like everything, essentially. Okay, here's the dining area. This is just really checking to see what type of corpse it is. Uh, Thorny Shambler. Okay. This is like a huge location. You could turn this into such a cool little uh, base. I did that once actually. Um, before I did the whole YouTube thing with Cataclysm. Hello. We got more of you guys. All piling up. I'm just kind of curious what's upstairs to be honest. Uh, hold on. What? <laughs> Okay, so the game's kind of weird. It won't let me go up there. I guess that it didn't spawn correctly there or something. I'm just... Really, I'm curious about why there's this little box right up there. Just like in that courtyard. Okay. I Can I go up here? Or is it going to tell me the same thing? Yeah. Okay. I guess that's that's it? Right? Didn't I check out everything essentially? I, like went down here, yeah, and that's like the wall, and there's just like the two yards essentially. You know, you could probably escape the prison if you could get outside and get some furniture up next to one of the walls. You know what I mean? Like if you grab a, a chair and then drag it over. Kind of like I've done before, like you could actually maybe even grab one of these tables. Like, if you were trying to get out of here, you could just grab that. Oh, no, there's stuff in the way. Yeah, you'd have to clear it out, but then you could get next to this and then just go over. You could hop on and then just hop down. Yeah, there's tons of ways you could get out of the prison now. I, I kind of want to do a new prison start. Just, just from seeing that. Like, super cool. Really, really nice location, whoever did that, if you ever see this. Which you probably won't. <laughs> hey, look, I can see around me now. Um, 
Okay, so that's where we drove down to. Right, okay, so there's here, and then we can kind of cut across here to Hingman. Why don't we do that? Let's go for a little, little drive over that away. Okay. Yeah, we'll just maybe not hold down <laughs> the five button. <laughs> Don't want to go that far, that fast. Uh, was this where... I didn't come from here, did I? No, I didn't come from here because I haven't gone to Hangman yet. Yeah, the bridges, there's something still kind of bizarre going on with <laughs> visibility of parts and whatnot. I don't, I don't pretend to understand. Okay, we are just... Oh god, there's like a car or something right there. Hello. Um, there's like a tent and then like a car. Really? How am I going to do this? I think I'm going to have to slow it down for a little bit. And just kind of assess. So I am, what, one, two, three, four, five wide? Okay. So from five wide, that's a little tight, that side. Where are these corpses? A bunch of humans that are dead, but they can actually reanimate now if you're not familiar. Yeah, you want to be careful around dead humans. Man, even our, those Neko wafers are rotten. Oh, there's a molly pack. I'll take that. A free backpack? Why not, right? I could also grab some Kevlar stuff. There's a lot of good Kevlar stuff here. Holy cow, this is a really good location. Two landmines, four landmines. Okay, is there a bunch of landmines out here? Is that what this is? Warning sign, minefield. Uh, They've changed the minefields then. Is this all a minefield then? Can I see any? Uh, mines. I know that there used to be a way to kind of see the mines um, on the tiles, but I'm just quick saving because I'm not going to let like me just not being familiar with the tile set make me die from landmines, you know? Okay, so there are some landmines here. I can see them. Good. But they're just kind of showing up kind of weird. More food. Hey, look, a stand egg mat. Mag, if I needed one, I would take it. Wait, hold on. This is a vehicle? No, this isn't a vehicle. Just a couple uh, couple books there. The Gun Owner's Handbook. Uh, I don't have that, apparently. Oh, look. They've, they've ripped down the tent for me. How lovely. Is that a smoker coming my way? Yeah, it is. Can I shoot it before it gets to me, please? I'm gonna just go auto, and, and hopefully I kill it. There we go. Am I standing in smoke? Thin smoke. Get out of the smoke. I don't think I... Uh, man, I did inhale some of the smoke. Gotta co be coughing then. Oh, did not need to auto on that. <laughs> A little excessive. Well, there might be some some guys that come our way now. Cause we made all that so sound, you know. There might be the neighborhood heading over. Hopefully, they blow up on a landmine, but I kind of doubt it. I think that we want to drive our car like here and then go up diagonally. And I think that that should probably be good, because I think the landmines are just in front of the sandbags, you know? So we'll kind of... I think that that should work, no? Uh, no. Okay. Game's going to be annoying like that. No, do not die from a vehicle. Yeah. Uh, can I just smash? Yeah, I can smash these with my hands. I can take down this tent with my hands. You're telling me my car can't handle that? Come on. 
please. Um, what am I hitting? I don't understand what I'm hitting right now. Uh, what's going on? I think I'm trying to do like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm very much confused about what's going on with my vehicle right now. <laughs> I think I might need to move some of this furniture out of the way. Um, hold on. I think also part of my annoyance is my breathing's not good. Jeez. Ah, uh, this is so annoying. Just, I'm like stuck or something. The bridge. Let's just kill these these slimes, honestly. You guys can just get out of here. Can I see anything about oh, there's a zombie, okay cool. Or slime. Whatever. Get rid of that breathing. Now there's a bunch of zombies coming our way. Is that what's going on? So I can't turn. Here we go. Okay. Uh, we're through. Cool. Can I stop and get my friend? Yeah, in a seat. Cool. I am happy. <laughs> Frustrated that that took so long. But I'm happy. Oh, what? Hold up. Hold up. There's just like one of those healing uh, medical ampules right there. That's like a really good item. I think we need to stop for that. I can't, I can't just like drive. You kidding me, right? Go ahead, reload. Sure. And then we'll just kill these guys. Friend, why don't you come join us? No, we don't need the auto anymore. <laughs> uh, go ahead, take the backpack off. Yep. He's gonna cut me. Okay. We'll just stop that bleeding. How's my focus? It's not that, that great. There we go. Uh, corrosive. Can I get them with a uh, of those? Cool. Yeah, what's this bat wing dude? What's he like? Come over here. I'm just curious about how strong you are. Let's get the Jane out. Go ahead and drop the gun. It's fine. It's not gonna be that dangerous. It doesn't look that. Oh! Haha! <laughs> Never mind. It just punched me away. Okay. Well it's a brute. I should have realized that. Thank you, friend. Let me get that gun under your feet. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get our backpack back then. Uh, hold on. There we go. Our backpack full of food, I think, from what I remember. You know, sometimes I wonder why I even smashed corpses. <laughs> you know, honestly. Because we'll get right back up pretty soon. Okay. And then where are we at right now? Is it is that a cabin? Yeah, it's a cabin. Oh, there's a wreck. A shipwreck. I've never... Oh, wait, what? There's another science lab! That's ridiculous. Um, how am I gonna get there? <laughs> I have to go all the way back up and then over, or possibly just over here. I'm gonna go over here first. And see what we can find along. Actually, hold on. Before we go anywhere... Is there any repair work? Yeah, I thought that there was gonna be something. I've got so much duct tape, I really need to make sure that I'm using it to control those things. Oh wow, we had a number of things actually were damaged there. It was good that we uh, took that time. 
And then let's have a look. See, do I want to drive on the road? Yeah, let's drive on the road. Go cruising down the highway. <laughs> right? In the apocalypse. Yeah, I loved seeing, like, this was a while ago, but I loved seeing um, how people wanted their, uh, their vehicles to just go insanely fast. Like, truly insane. Little roller drums, they, uh, they haven't got tiles for that yet. Like, hundreds of kilometers per hour fast vehicles. Like, they're just, like, bonkers. They just strap, like, engines to, like, motorcycles that, like, really shouldn't be on a motorcycle. <laughs> you know? Whoa, hold up. Can I see... Uh, do I use time? Uh, I've been here before, right? Yeah. I am just, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of lost <laughs> with my brain as to where I am. Okay, there was, oh, I remember that stadium field. There's probably a bunch of stuff in the city that I probably want to go check out, which I have been saying that I wanted to, oh, wait, hold on, what? Darren Cooper Rogue. He's in the cabin. Okay. Let's go see if we can find Darren. I think I saw them briefly there. Uh, okay. I just don't want my friend getting shot. <laughs> uh, let's get this out. Just in case we need to. I'm gonna actually put on my mask in case he gets like a headshot on me. Oh, the Baker's Companion. That sounds like a good one. They're ignoring me and they're neutral. So I think that this is like a, a location. Like a unique location, right? That you're supposed to get some unique dialogue from. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna read this. Sorry, I haven't seen this before. Okay, so this is like magicalism almost. Hold on. Maybe I'll read this a little bit after the fact, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll just read this after the fact. Oh, okay. Is this, oh wait, is this the, um, whatchamacallit? Oh wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> Are you going to kill me? I can't let you, uh... I, I'm just gonna ask him for proof. <laughs> yeah okay so this dude's just like some killer then he's not trying to kill me he's got a machete but he's saying that he's by killing people going to stop the apocalypse is that did I read that correct I mean maybe he's right but I feel like I should probably just kill him The analyst. That sounds really boring. Um, I think I'm gonna take that book though. If you don't mind. You're not using it. Yeah, cool. Some nice new breads. Uh, does this contain anything useful? I don't think it will. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cool. I think I might tempt the imp to come kill this guy. Hello, Imp. You gotta come on over. I'm gonna take out this kindred dude in his cabin. The murderer. Seeing how we're kind of not doing magicalism, I feel like... Oh, the Imp died. Actually, dude, dude did, didn't even get hurt. Hmm. 
just finding out if there was anything suspicious in here, right? Oh man, he's got some good tools too. Is this your outhouse? A snow shovel? Are we gonna need those in game? <laughs> we hopefully not. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we have so many options right now. I'm not really sure what I want to do. Is an outpost? Is that uh, just a barn? Yeah, it's just a barn. Here's a cave. Yeah, this all looks familiar. Kind of sounds familiar. There's a waiting area. What is this? Is this? Oh, this is the hangar. Right. I should go to that, really. That's going to be something new. But I'm going to have to fight through some city to do that. I don't know, man. There's lab, hangar. I feel like I should do the hangar, but I might forget. Uh, in any case, it's been half an hour. I'll see you guys around. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.